What's going on guys? It's Teeter here from Trevor's Fast Life. We want to show you guys a little secret to really make these power wheels go super fast. We ran into a numerous issues with our previous setups. Um, one of them being shredding first gear, um, a lot of violent uh, shutdowns when the kids are letting off, which then causes gears to shred, um, first gear being one of them, or a lot of times even the main drive gear, it'll take a big chunk out of the tooth there. We found a way to prevent those issues by doing a first gear delete. By doing the first gear delete, it's a lot faster too, and it avoids all those violent shutdowns when the kids let off the gas. Another, another big issue we faced was just running out of gear in these power wheels. The way these things are geared, um, by the time these kids get to 20, 30 feet, they're topped out. They have no more gear. It's already at top speed. Um, we needed to find a way to get these kids to be able to progressively go to the 60 foot without it just hitting top speed in the first 20 foot. So when you let off the gas at the end, the motors want to free spin a lot more. So the cars do have trouble slowing down. Um, they will free coast for 40, 50 feet, depending how fast they're going. But we are working on a full custom braking system that we will be releasing soon. Um, stay tuned for that, but let's get right to it. So here's what the inside of your factory gearbox looks like. This is your first gear here, and this is your second gear, third gear. What we're going to be doing is removing first gear and mounting the motor directly to second gear here. What you're going to need to do is remove this pin here. You can just grab, grab it with a set of pliers. It'll come right out. Once that pin's removed, you're going to grab your motor with your pinion on it. And you're going to kind of match it up to the back of the case. Eyeball it up to where it's going to sit. You'll have to flatten this spot down on the case here. Once you find a good spot, Drill it with a hole saw bit or a big drill bit. And this is what it'll look like. Here's what your gearbox will look like once your hole is drilled, um, minus the first gear. So you're gonna take your motor, put it right through, and just kind of line it up. The gear mesh is super important. If you don't have it lined up perfectly, or if you have it lined up too loose or too tight, it will shred the gear instantly or gradually over time. Um, with the gear mesh perfect, we, we have yet to break a gear. We ran this setup all season long with the same gears and we have not broke one single gear. Once you kind of figure out your gear mesh, um, you're going to need to get some screws, some, some smaller screws for the 775 motors. You can go ahead and take the other gears out to get your other screw in there. But you're just going to kind of want to line it up. Put your second screw in there. This is what your gearbox should look like once your screws are all tightened down. Again, just make sure your gear mesh is perfect, um, not too loose, not too tight, or it will ruin the gears. Let's talk about pinion size though. Um, on this gearbox, we are running a 23 tooth pinion. Now it definitely differs per chassis. We've done numerous testing and it does change, or it does make a difference on the size pinion you use, on how heavy the car is, on wh what size the wheels are, um, how you know how much drag there is that's just going to be some research some testing that you're going to have to do um, to find out the right pinion size for your gearbox now go ahead and throw your cover back on but by doing this first gear delete you gain so much more top speed it's pretty insane how fast some of these cars are going um, i know my son's car he's hit 20 22 23 mile an hour we have some buddies cars that have gone the same speed if not faster um, with the first gear delete 
it's definitely a must have if you want to go super fast in a power wheel. And there you have it. That is the first gear delete. Stay tuned for more epic content dropping, dropping soon. And we have our full event schedule for next year dropping soon as well. It is going to be one epic season for these kids. Yeah.